What's going on YouTube? So yes, we have completed season two, chapter one, Team Affinity 100%. So let's talk about how we actually did this. To start off, we did all of the actual moments. So if you go into like Team Affinity and you go over to the moments, we did all the moments for each division. If you wanna do that and make it a little easier, if you back all the way out to the main menu, and you scroll down, you guys will see moments right here. Click on moments right here, and it will actually be just easier to access all of Team Affinity moments for season two, chapter one. All of them will be right here, so you don't have to go to each division to get to those moments. And it's a little bit faster going in and out of the moments if you do it from the main menu. The next thing that we did, we did do the season two, chapter one extreme showdown. I know that's not for everyone, but for me, I mean 20,000 XP for every division, that's going to give us a good head start. So we did the moments and then the extreme showdown so we can get closer to that first boss because once you get to the first boss, it's pretty simple. What you wanna do when you get to the first boss, like let's say you get to the, six, I think it's 60,000, right? You get to 60,000, you wanna make sure you are selecting the pitcher because the pitcher missions are actually repeat, repeatable this time around. So if we go down to the Ks with AL East bosses, you need 10 strikeouts, it is repeatable. So whether you're doing this in mini seasons, conquest, play versus CPU, you get 10 strikeouts, you get 10,000 XP, and you can do it all over again for an additional 10,000 XP. It is the same thing with the hitters, but 10 hits with a hitter is gonna take a lot longer than 10 strikeouts with a pitcher. So that's why I recommend if there is a pitcher, select the pitcher first. So you at least have one pitcher from that division that you can keep on grinding those strikeouts with and get that 10,000 XP every single time. Now, obviously, play versus CPU, nine inning games, a lot faster to get that 10 strikeouts. You can get it in like three, probably like what, four or five innings on a rookie difficulty. And then you can quit out and get that 10,000 XP and just hop in back into it. However, I like doing conquests in many seasons because if you complete the Team Affinity Conquest, that's also going to give you guys 20,000 XP for that division. So there's an East Conquest, a West Conquest, and a Central Conquest, I believe. So you're going to get progress for this, the West, the Central, and both the East uh, Team Affinity. So be sure that that's why I did the Conquest. It's because I got another 20,000 XP by completing it. It takes a little bit longer, but I'm grinding those strikeouts. I'm grinding those hits. I'm just tackling a lot of different things at one time rather than just doing play versus CPU and just doing missions, I'm making that extra progress in Kong. On top of that, we did do the Team Affinity Season 2 missions and for mini season. Um, we did that, that was pretty good. Um, there's a lot of good packs and stuff in here and a lot of XP. So instead of just grinding out Team Affinity, we were grinding out some XP for the XP reward pack, getting closer to those bosses. So that's why I recommend mini seasons as well. If you want to have a good XP grind on top of grinding team affinity, mini seasons is a good way to go. There is a new team affinity season two mini seasons and they reset the goals for the classic mini season. So you can earn the 30,000 XP again in the classic mini seasons and you can go back and use your season one cards if you choose to. I mean, after that, it was pretty much simple. We didn't play any multiplayer missions. We didn't do any multiplayer to complete this for any division. We literally just did conquest and mini seasons. I didn't do any play versus CPU stuff and we barely did any exchanges. As you can see, most divisions, I didn't do any exchanges. I only did exchanges if I had leftover season one cards like duplicates. Not ones I didn't want to use, but just duplicates in general. As you can see right here, I did have some duplicates for the NL West. So we got those done. But other than that, if I didn't have any season one duplicates for exchanges, I didn't do exchanges. I don't want to spend extra stubs to do exchanges for Team Affinity because obviously I did it without doing exchanges pretty easily. And we got it done within a couple days. Uh, when it comes to the conquest maps, none of them are crazy like good. When it comes to the conquest maps, um, they don't have like any really cool hidden missions, just player packs. But however, if you do complete the conquest, you also get four thousand XP and a ball and as a habit pack. So you get that four thousand XP for each conquest map. So that's going to help you with the XP reward pass. So just another reason to do it. It's not a lot of XP, of course but you're getting 20,000 for TA, and then you're getting 4,000 for the XP reward path, along with some packs, so that's pretty good, nonetheless. I just 
Just to check the schedule real quick, we have an Architect program on the 11th, a new London Series program on the 11th as well, a new Headliner pack, a Seasonal Wars drop on the 14th, and two new Conquest maps on the 14th as well. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that, for some more XP, some more programs that we can get, and some more cards. When it comes to collections, we are very, very close to collecting some more cards as well. We have 43, two more cards, we get 10 show packs, and another 10,000 XP waiting for us in the season two collection now we didn't save all of our team affinity packs because we opened some of them on stream but the ones that we got off of stream we definitely saved those for our pack opening that will be in the next video so be sure you guys like and subscribe and turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on that video but anyways hopefully this video did help you out with uh how to grind team affinity season two chapter one i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching